Hello there. Today we're going to be talking about everybody's favourite thing in the world, word problems. And, to be a little bit more specific, we're going to be talking about writing equations from word problems. And, to be even more specific than that, each of the examples that we have here today are going to deal with the standard form linear equation, also known as EX plus BY equals C. Of course, a little background will help us out quite a bit before we get to our examples, so let's take a look at some important information. First, we're going to need to know how are we supposed to tell the difference between a standard form equation problem and one that fits something like y equals mx plus b. The main telltale sign is that a standard form problem is going to have multiple rates embedded within it and a grand total at the end or anywhere in the problem. As long as you have a grand total in more than one rate, you've got a pretty good idea that you've got a standard form equation. Naturally, if we want to be good at this skill, we have to be comfortable with words that mean the same thing as rate. We're going to be looking for things like per, for, every, anything along those lines, and we have to understand also that since we do have more than one rate, we need to make sure that it goes with the correct variable. Also good to know is that anything that is a grand total represents the C value, the number all alone on the right side of the equals. You're going to look out for words that imply total, like all together, combined, or, I don't know, total. So as you can see, literacy is a very important skill for this type of problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple examples and see if we can apply what we've learned. Here goes nothing. Our first example says, to pass a test, Brandy must earn a combined score of 23 points. She can score 2 points per correct multiple choice question, and 3 points per correct open response question. Write the equation that describes how many correctly answered multiple choice questions M, and correctly answered open response questions R, Brandy earned if her score was exactly 23 points. Where to start? Well, I think the first thing we should always do is go back through and figure out what information we have. Our goal is to assign our a, b, and c values within the standard form general equation. The hardest part here is going to be assigning the correct number to the correct variable, but once we figure that out, the rest of it is really simple. We just write an equation. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, we need to first classify what information we do have. C combined, that's a total word, and that tells me that my C value is the number associated with that 23. I also have two points per correct multiple choice question, emphasis on the per, that's one of my rates. And I have three points per correct open response question, another one of my rates thanks to the word per. We also define our variables here, we see that we have multiple choice questions being assigned to M, and open response questions assigned to R. I remember before we had the number 2 going with multiple choice, so this means that in the equation 2 goes with M. Likewise, if 3 goes with open response and so does R, then we're going to have a 3R in our equation like we have here. And if we add the scores of each of these together, guess what we're going to get at the end of the day? 23. So the final equation this time is 2M plus 3R equals 23. You see how easy that was? All we had to do was classify each number, make sure that the right numbers went with the right variables, and then the rest kind of just takes care of itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example to see if we got this down pet. Our next example reads, In a certain card game in which players are trying to earn the lowest possible score, players earn 4 points for every non-matching pair of cards, and lose 5 points for every matching card pair. In one game, a player earns a final score of 8 points. Write the equation that describes the player's score when he gets N non-matching pairs and M matching pairs. Right, we're going to go through the problem, we're going to classify each number that we were given, we're going to assign the correct numbers to the correct variables, and then we're going to write our equation. Let's get down to business. The first thing in the problem that stands out to me is the four points for every non-matching pair of cards like we see here. Emphasis on the phrase for every. This tells us that we have a rate. We have a very similar phrase over here with lose five points for every matching pair. Once again, for every. And notably, the word lose. This tells us that five is supposed to be negative. I also have a final score of eight points. Emphasis on the word final. This tells me that I'm talking about a grand total. And we define our variables here. We have N for non-matching pairs and M for matching pairs. 
Now to assign the numbers to each of the correct variables here, we have 4 going with non-matching pairs, so this means that 4n is in our equation. We have minus 5 points for every matching pair, so we have minus 5m, and altogether this was supposed to equal 8. Look at that! A nice, easy final answer. Now I'm not going to sit here and pretend that every single problem is as easy as this one, but if you stick to the process, you shouldn't really have much trouble. You go through the problem, you categorize each number, you assign the correct numbers to the correct variables, and then just write the equation according to your intuition, usually what you think is the right thing to do. And of course in many problems, finding the equation is only half the work, you're going to need to use it to figure out some other piece of information. But that is for another day. For now, you can revel in your accomplishments, and for the love of goodness, please make sure that you practice. Thanks for playing, see you next time!